Will the dish run away with the sprint? I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The satellite television provider Dish made a bid to merge with Sprint for $25.5 billion. Sprint was already talking about merging with a Japanese wireless provider called SoftBank, but this Dish deal offers Sprint more money. So why would Sprint consider a deal with Dish? Well, Sprint is in third place behind AT&T and Verizon, so it needs to do something to grow and stand out. Dish has 14 million subscribers. Those could be new customers in some sort of bundle deal. And Dish owns airwaves that Sprint could use to boost its network. That means Sprint would have more capacity to handle more traffic and have a stronger connection, essentially a wider highway for data to travel on, and that highway would be wider than its rivals AT&T and Verizon. Dish has had its eyes on wireless for some time now. Before this, Dish tried to buy Metro PCS, but that didn't work. And earlier in the year, it made a bid for the Clearwire network, but Sprint owns most of that company. There were also reports that maybe Dish was talking to T-Mobile, but it's more than just wireless. Remember, Dish bought Blockbuster in 2011. It's time for more smartwatch rumors. The Wall Street Journal reports that Microsoft is tinkering with making its own smartwatch. This wouldn't be Microsoft's first dance with smartwatches. In 2004, it launched software called Spot, and it partnered with watchmakers like Fossil and Swatch. This is one such watch with Spot. These watches displayed headlines for news, sports, and weather, but they were discontinued in 2008. Continuing with Microsoft news, for those of you with Windows 8, the Bing apps have been updated. Users can sort, manage, and add different news categories and feeds into the News app. The Maps app has a new search tool to track down local businesses or even see the location of people in your contacts. Electronic Arts is shutting down three games it has on Facebook, The Sims Social, Sim City Social, and Pet Society. The games will no longer be available after June 14th, and EA says it's retiring these games because activity has fallen off since they first launched on Facebook. If you're in the market for a new TV or just want to dream about a new TV, check out this 55-inch plasma in the Panasonic ST60 series. It's the first television to get a five-star rating from CNET. What makes it the most recommended TV ever? Well, for the mid-level price range, it has outstanding quality and plenty of smart TV content. Of course, nothing's perfect, and like everything, there are a few downsides, but you can check out the full review online. That's your tech news update. We got more details on these stories at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.